is are known as that uh, ramenta so in that ramenta so it showing of that brown hair like structure is known as that uh, ramenta right so after that at the time of anger condition okay th so this leaves showing of that uh, circinate venation that is known as that uh, circinate venation circinate venation okay so leaf showing of that venation open dichotomous venation it means it is the midvein reproducing the lateral veins lateral veins are not okay lateral veins are divided into two branches so but they are do not touch that leaf margin so that is known as open dichotomous venation open dichotomous venation or furcate venation okay so they are producing of that it means spores it is a homosporous condition okay <clears throat> so it means which leaf having that sporangia they are known as the sporophylls this is sporophylls are arranged in the group they are known as the sori so this is sori is are convert into that okay strobilus sori okay so this is sori is are present at that ventral side of leaf so this is a leaflet at the ventral side of the leaflet sporangia are grouped okay so sporangias are grouped that is known as sori that is known as that sori okay so generally this is sori are formed okay so this is sori is protected in dryopteris by cushion like tissue so that is known as indusium that is known as that indusium but in teris okay this sorus is protected by that uh, revolute margin of leaflet okay so that is known as that uh, false indusium which one is used as the false indusium so false indusium is absorbed in teris generally indusium is absent then the margin of leaflet is bent okay back side and protected to that uh, sorus that is known as that uh, false indusium they producing similar type of spores then spores are germinate to producing of that uh, gametophyte okay <coughs> example dryopteris teris and uh, adiantum they are known as that uh, fern plants